Have you seen a food color mix in a glass of water? Does it mix completely the moment you put it in the water? No, it's a gradual process. And if you observe closely, you can see it slowly spreads in the water. Similarly, if you take salt crystals and put it in water, you might also notice that the crystal becomes smaller with time. We usually say that the salt is dissolving in the water. But what happens at a molecular level? Let's see in this video how exactly a solute dissolves in the solvent. Suppose we put salt in water. Now let's look at a crystal of salt dissolving in water. A salt crystal is made up of sodium and chloride ions that are arranged in a cubic lattice. In it, those ions that are at a corner or an edge are loosely held. And we know that water molecules are polar in nature with partial positive charge on the hydrogen atoms and partial negative charge on the oxygen atom. Now as we put the crystal in the water, the water molecules collide with the crystal until an ion breaks free. Since the ions are positively or negatively charged and the water molecules are polar, more water molecules are attracted towards that ion and they cluster around it. That is, if a positively charged sodium ion breaks free, the oxygen atom of the water molecules is attracted towards it. And in the case of negatively charged chloride ion, the hydrogen atoms of the water molecules are attracted to it. So we see that as water molecules collide with the crystal, a loosely held ion breaks free. Then more water molecules cluster around the ion, stabilizing it by means of ion dipole interactions. The same thing happens over and over until there remains no crystal. We say that the solute particles are dissolving in the solvent forming a solution. This process is called dissolution. But wait, something else is also going on while forming the solution. We saw that ions separate from the crystal and are stabilized by water molecules. But sometimes the free sodium and chloride ions collide with the crystal. Due to the strong interaction between the ions and the crystal, these ions become a part of the crystal again and separate out from the solvent. So as some solute particles are dissolving into the solution, some dissolved solute particles are also separating from the solution. This process is called crystallization. Therefore, in a solution there are two processes taking place simultaneously. One is a dissolution and the other crystallization. These two processes together give rise to a dynamic equilibrium in the solution. Initially, the rate of dissolution is much larger than the rate of crystallization. This means there are more solute particles mixing with the solvent than separating out. But as we add more salt to the solution, the rate of dissolution slows down and the rate of crystallization increases. A point is reached when the two rates are equal. So, if you look at the beaker, there is no visible change. We say that no more salt dissolves in the solution. But, at the molecular level, solute particles are entering and leaving the solution at equal rates. The solution is in dynamic equilibrium with the undissolved solute. A solution in which no more solute can be dissolved at a given temperature and pressure is called a saturated solution. At this point, we've reached the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in the solution at a given temperature and pressure. This maximum amount of the solute is known as solubility of the solution. So we see that in a solution, two processes namely dissolution and crystallization occur simultaneously. As their rate becomes equal to each other, no more solute is dissolved in the solution and the solution is called saturated solution. The amount of solute in the saturated solution is called the solubility of the solution. Now notice that here we mentioned that solubility depends on the temperature and the pressure. So does it mean that if we change the temperature or the pressure of a solvent, we will be able to dissolve more solute? Yes. We will see how the change in temperature or pressure of a solution changes its solubility 
in the upcoming videos. To stay updated and to keep learning such interesting things, subscribe to our channel.